Hello everyone, I am Dr. Arpita. The topic for today's discussion is Similarity Index in Ecology or Similarity Indices in Ecology. Similarity Indices generally they do a comparative study. Okay, So Similarity Index compares the number of species common to all communities. Actually they indicate the degree of resemblance okay, between the two ecological populations right now under this uh, heading we will study three indices one is the jacquard index Sorensen's index and simple matching index okay so we'll start with jacquard index what does it say Jacquard index divides the number of species shared by both the samples or populations or communities by the sum of all species occurring in both the samples. Samples means here samples or uh, communities or population whatever you may say. All these indices pivot around one factor. What is that? They measure similarity between two sets of data. Right? Now see here, Jacquard index is indicated by CJ. This is equal to, Jacquard index is equal to A divided by A plus B plus C. <clears throat> now it's important to know what is A, B and C. A means, A denotes the number of species present in both the communities. Right? B is the number of species present in community A but not in the other one or here community 2 but not in community 1. C denotes the number of species present in community 1 but not in community 2. Okay? Now on the basis of this we will solve few problems which will help us to get our concept crystal clear look here we'll solve two problems what does it say find out the jacquard index for the two given communities here you have two communities community one community two okay and here are the species so how many species can you see here one two three four five five species in total you can see here okay now see here species a Take each species into consideration one at a time. Clear? What do you see here? Species A is common in both. Species B is present in community 2 but absent in community 1. Species C is absent in both the communities. Species D is present in 2 but absent in 1. Again, E is present in both. So, here two species are in common. Hmm? So, what did we, what uh, conclusion did we come to? Two species, that is A and E, are in common that is they are present in both the communities right now if we put the values into this formula what did we learn cj is equal to a by a plus b plus c this is what we have learned correct now if we put the values so a was what number of species present in both the communities how many are there two so, A plus B plus C. Here also, now we will do this. A you already know it is 2 plus now we will find out what is B and what is C. B is what number of uh, species present in community 2 but not in 1. C, which species is present in community 2 but not in 1. B is present in community 2 
not in one d is present in community two but not in one so how many two what is c here c is number of species present in community one but not in two c is there anything which is present in uh, community one but not in two is there anything like this nothing c nothing so c is zero here now what do we get 2 by 4 which is equal to 0.5 so this is your required answer right now we'll come to the next problem read the question very nicely what does it say following table shows presence or absence of five species in three communities three communities mind it based on the table pick the correct order of similarity between two pairs of communities okay here are the options which are given from here we'll have to pick the correct answer or correct option clear now study this table very nicely we will take up two communities at a time first we'll start with communities a and b in communities a and b what do you see here c cj as we all know from the above example we know a by a plus b plus c so i'm not rewriting it again we'll straight away do the calculation how many species are common in a and b from the table you should know we can see 2 right so 2 by 2 plus present in community 2 absent in community 1 how many species of that type from here you can see it's only 1 which is present in community b but not in a i mean vice versa like that okay one is zero the other is one right so see here and zero the other is one so what do you get here 2 by 3 next come to b and c See what do you get? Species common here is only one. Look into the table nicely. So next, please do the calculations along with me. Don't just copy what I'm writing. Please do the calculations as I'm doing. do it again i'm telling don't just copy it blindly hmm? next you have for c and a 1 by 1 plus 2 plus 2 agree see you have in a and c you have only one common and two are present here and two are absent here two are present here two are absent here so it satisfies correct here also if you see see one is only uh, common in b and c hmm? so from these fractions which one becomes your correct option let's see see here you have got 2 by 3 1 by 4 1 by 5 you can just take the lcm and do it or else by seeing also you can clearly understand so which becomes your correct option here ab is greater than bc bc greater than ac so this is your correct answer